I'm going to give you a quick tour of the sounds of spoken English. There's 44 sounds in spoken English in the dialect I speak. And so let's go through the consonants first, 24 consonants. So there are uh, three pairs of stop consonants. You stop the air and you let it go. So there's P and B with your lips, T and D with your tongue behind your teeth, and then K and G in the back of your mouth. Then we have uh, three nasal sounds in the same location. So M, N, and ng as in sing and lung in the back of your mouth. Then we have four pairs of friction sounds. So there's th as in thigh and th as in thy, which are distinct sounds, but we don't spell them any differently. And then th and s and sh as in vision and treasure and beige. That's a sound from French. Um, and then we have a in the back of your mouth, which is a friction sound that's lost its pair. It used to have a pair in Old English, but we don't say that anymore. Then we have two um, sounds that are actually combination sounds. So you're combining stopping and then um, friction. So there's ch, which is actually made out of t and sh. Yeah? And then j is made out of d and j run together. And then we have a couple of semi-vowels, so woo like in wet and y like in yes. And then we have uh, l and r are also very vowel-like sounds. So I think that's 24 consonants. Then let's do the vowels. So vowels, we have what we call short vowel. They're not really short or long. They're just, you have to um, follow them by a consonant. So they're not, they're not at the end of an open syllable. They can't be the last sound in a syllable. So there's a as in cat, e as in red, i as in him, o as in hot, a as in cup, and then o as in put or good. All of those have to have a consonant after them. And then we have long vowels, <laughs> which you can have at the end of a syllable. So there's a as in day, and i as in pie, and e as in see, and o as in go, and u as in um, do, and then also u as in news. So Americans say news and we say news. Um, and then, uh, so that's uh, six, am I right in six? Yes. And then there are some that are sometimes called R controlled vowels. So R as in car, U er as in her, or as in saw. And then uh, we have ow as in out, and then oi as in boil, then air and ear. And the final uh, vowel, um, make it, taking us up to 44, is uh, as in butter, so f, actor, um, and it's an unstressed vowel in two syllable words usually, or in, in unstressed words in sentences like the, we say the, and we don't really say the, um, but when we're learning to spell those words, we pr overstress them and, and say them the way that they're spelt. Um, so yeah, so there you go. If anybody asks you what are the 44 sounds, there they are.